All right, so if you clicked on this video, you're probably thinking about buying a Carolina's gift. Before you do, watch this video because I got some things, some pros and cons I want to tell you. Look, I have owned two different Carolina's gifts, both J16s, and I feel like I got some information that I want to share with you before you make that purchase. I'm going to go over three pros and three cons about Carolina's gifts so you can make an informed decision about the boat you buy next. Now, I actually do like Carolina's gifts for some things, but there's some cons that I just think um, I probably will never own another Carolina's Carolina skiff again. All right, so the pro number one about the Carolina skiff, obviously, it's probably the reason why you're looking right now is the cost of it. Carolina skiff is one of the most affordable boats out there, period. Um, you know, it it means they have to save money somewhere, and we'll kind of get into that in the cons. But if you're looking for something that you can just get out on the water, um, you know, and and have low maintenance and it's an affordable price, you really can't beat a Carolina skiff for that. So the pro number two for me, and one of the biggest reasons why I always went with Carolina skiffs or skiffs that were similar to it was because of the draft. I love fishing shallow. I love being able to go crabbing in really shallow water, go fishing in really shallow water, get into different little cuts, pull it up onto the sandbar. Like the draft of a Carolina skiff for the price of the boat it is, it really can't be beat. It really is a good deal. I know that my J16s that I owned, they maybe drew about six inches of water when they were floating. I mean, where else are you gonna find a boat that's like that? Now I get other 16 foot skiffs probably have similar drafts, but you know, it just, it's pretty crazy how shallow those boats can get. Now my third pro about a Carolina skiff is just the fishability because of how wide open and big it is, and also the ease of ownership. For me, I love a boat that I can just pull up to the house or pull up onto the boat lift, hose it off or not hose it off and be completely done. You know, you don't have all this other stuff you have to worry about when you have a Carolina skiff of soft cushions and this and that. It really is a good utilitarian boat. And that's why you see so many different commercial watermen running Carolina skiffs because you can beat the crud out of them and you know, and they take an abuse and they don't have a lot of soft surfaces that get beat up too bad. It really can be a great choice for someone who's just looking for that utilitarian skiff kind of look. Now, that being said, I, I don't think I foresee myself ever buying another Carolina skiff again. And let me tell you the main reason why. And this is going to be a reason that a lot of people say on all the forums or anywhere you look, the ride is one of the worst rides out there for any skiff. The flat bottom, the DLX, the J, um, the J16 series, and even some of the DLVs that have the V in the front of the boat, they're just bad rides. If you live anywhere in, um, you know, where you get some chop or stuff like that, they will literally pound you, and it's just like riding in a fiberglass John boat. Now, if you're someone that's just going from river to river, or you're not really going out in open water, or you don't see a lot of chop, or you just aren't gonna use your boat on choppy days, it can be fine. But I found it so limiting, um, especially in the J16, that I barely used that boat, and I ended up using my bigger boat a lot more, and that defeated the purpose of having that second boat, of having that J16. So for me, I will never buy a Carolina skiff because of the ride. Now, is the ride like, horrible i would say no one should ever get it no but for my purpose and for how i want a boat it just it never suited it never will suit what i want to do i need something because i'm on the lower potomac because i'm in more open water that can really get out there and i don't have a fear of one you know not making it back but two losing a few kidneys or teeth on the way back in so con number two about carolina skiff a lot of times carolina skiffs go to dealers and some of the dealers that I've seen in my local area, um, or actually there's just one main dealer, had some really shoddy rigging and really shoddy kind of uh, dealer prep work on it um, that just kind of turned me off on Carolina Skiff. So just, you know, subpar wiring, subpar uh, connections, a console, the connection to the console to the deck. It just wasn't something that um, I felt was uh, was a product that was going to last a long time. Now, you bet you pay for what you get. So when you're paying that much for a Carolina skiff and you're saving that much money, you probably are going to get something that isn't, you know, as high quality as say like a sportsman or, you know, other boats that are kind of a class or two above a Carolina skiff. So I guess it makes sense because of the price you're paying, but at the same time, it just makes it, it's a big con for me that I don't feel like the parts that go into it besides the hull itself as quality built 
as other boats that may be a tier or two above. All right, so the third con for me for a Carolina skiff is kind of how you rig it up for fishing. The one thing about a Carolina skiff is that because it's a rolled gunnel skiff, there's not a lot of places to put rod holders. There's not a lot of storage on these boats. So it makes it really tough to turn these things into really great fishing machines. Now, some of the more expensive ones um, do have like, you know, a gunnel cap and have rod holders in there and stuff like that. And rod holders on the side of the console, of course. But for the most part, the Carolina skiff that you're thinking of, you know, the, the bathtub looking kind of thing has that rolled gunnel edge. And it's just not great for storing fishing rods and doing stuff like that. And also because of the way the stern of the boat is, it's hard to find a good place to put your uh, transducers, especially those big side scan transducers. Because of the way the bottom is, there's so much turbulence that comes off that bottom that those transducers can be really, really difficult to get exactly right to be able to read really well. So I would say those are the three biggest cons of the Carolina Skiff to me. And honestly, this is just my opinion. The Carolina Skiff might be the perfect boat for you. I could see a J16 being absolutely ideal for someone down in Florida, fishing all those little inlets and lagoons and stuff like that, and just getting back in shallow water, getting back in skinny cuts and being able to fish in different areas that bigger boats can't go. But I can't fish that way because there's just not that kind of water around me. So for me, a J16, you know, Carolina Skiff with the roll gunnels, it just doesn't fit the way I fish. It might be perfect for you though. Though. Um, but honestly, it's not something I'm going to be doing anytime soon. I appreciate you watching. I hope to see you on the next video.